Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this one we are looking at the method of integration by substitution. Just before we start, if you are new around here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really does help me out and help my videos reach more people. Also, don't forget to leave a like on the video and comment if there's anything you would like to see. So integration by substitution, what we do with this method is change the variable we are integrating over. And usually this helps to make the integration method easier. Now, I've chosen this fairly easy example to illustrate the method in full, but this can be used on a wide range, range of examples. And if you've watched my video where we integrate the square root of tan x, we use substitution a fair bit there. Okay, so our plan, find an appropriate u. Now, what I mean by this is u is the change of variables. Then we need to calculate du by dx, so differentiate u. We also need to take care with these limits here, because these are the limits in the x world. We will need to change them over to u. And then we just substitute our u and solve from there. OK. Now, when we've got a function like this, and a, you might start by choosing something like u equals 1 minus x. OK. This is going to be very useful because e to the 1 minus x will just become e to the u, or e to the power of u. So let's follow our plan. Differentiate. So du by dx. Well, 1 differentiate, one differentiates to 0, minus x differentiates to minus 1. And because we're going to be substituting, we need to change this dx into du. Okay, so this tells us then that dx equals, well, if we multiply across, we're going to get minus du. Okay, so where do we go from here then? Well, we now know that u equals 1 minus x. We now know that dx equals minus du. We need to now calculate the new limits. Okay. So if we have x equals 2, then u equals 1 minus 2, which equals minus 1. And if x equals 1, then u equals 1 minus 1, which equals 0. And now we are ready to substitute. We're going to use this. We're going to use this. And we're going to the, use these two new limits. So let's go ahead and do it. So I'll write out the integral in full. So it's the integral between 1 and 2, e to the 1 minus x dx. And this now becomes, well, if x was 2, u was minus 1. If x was 1, u was 0. And e to the 1 minus x, well, 1 minus x is just u. And remember, dx is just minus du. So we're going to bring a minus to the front there and have a du. Where do we go from here? Something to note is that our new limits are sort of the wrong way around. When we're integrating, we have the biggest number on the top. Luckily, we have this great result that says um, if we have an integral between a and b of f of x dx. This is the same thing as minus the integral with the limits swapped around. And this is a very basic result you'll learn in A-level maths. So with this, we can now transform our integral. Because we've got this minus sign here, Right, we're, we're sort of already there. So our integral just becomes the integral from minus 1 to 0 of e to the u du. The antiderivative of e to the u is easy. It's just e to the u uh, between minus 1 and 0. So now we just need to evaluate. So when u equals 0, 
we're going to get e to the 0, which is 1. And when u equals minus 1, we're going to get e to the minus 1. So all in all, we're going to have 1 minus 1 over e. And that is our final answer. So I hope this makes sense, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, if you have enjoyed, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.